Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to highlight uh, values you want to sell based on some criteria. Let's say for example we have this table here and anything that is not over 90 gets a red color and anything that is under 20 gets a green color and anything that is exactly 50 gets a purple color. So I have these, this table, these numbers are uh, randomly generated numbers between 10 and 100. Let me go ahead and just kind of generate, uh, regenerate those numbers. And you can see as I kind of click through and the numbers get uh, randomized again, you'll see that the values change here and the colors correspondingly change with those values. So there's actually an easy way to create this. Um, you can go ahead and use conditional formatting and let me show you how that is done. I have my other table here and well, let me go ahead and just remove this value here. Uh, now after I, I've also have a random number generator command here for my set. So anytime I perform an action, it regenerates those numbers. So what I can do here is I'm, let me go ahead and select uh, the area where I want to go ahead and have my uh, color show up. And after I select it, I'll go under the Home tab, under Styles Group, go, go to Conditional Formatting, and I'll just kind of select the predefined ones here. So anything that is greater than 90, that's 55 here, and greater than 90, it's going to fill it red, okay? And anything that is uh, lower or less than 20, I'm going to have that in green or maybe just uh, green. Click OK. And anything that is equal to 50. Uh, let me go ahead and change that to uh, purple like I chose earlier. Right? Click OK, click OK, and click OK. And you see that's purple. So if I randomize this, you can see that as everything changes, the colors change correspondingly. So this is just an example of the different ways that you can do it. You can you've noticed here, if I go under conditional formatting, we have a, uh, a variety of other ways that we can assume colors for the for the different cells. If it's uh, if it's between some numbers, if there's text that contains something, uh, if there's a date, if there are duplicate values, and we have other things where we have top and bottom rules. You can see we have a top 10, top 10 percentage, so in top 10 uh, above average, below average. So there's a lot of uh, different uh, rules that we can identify and then create a corresponding color for that. So that was a quick video on how to highlight a table of values based on some criteria. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.